Hey, people. You're right to war. I could be better, personally. I'm just at the end of a cold now, which has honestly set me back. So much for shaking off that rust, because I did have to take some time off so that I wasn't snotting in your ear. Uh, we're going to finish things off. For the list, at least, are uh, with the purists, because we still haven't unlocked um, challenge number 11. I don't know what's missing. Maybe when we finally finish off um, that fly one. <laughs> I forget what it's called, even though we just went past it. Let's take a look at purist. Okay, we are Isaac. Our seed is 1MGLLY71. As you can see, we got nothing but our bomb and Isaac's base stats. And uh, you're probably going to have to get used to that. In the purest challenge, if I remember correctly. I'll thank you for those two black hearts. In this one, you don't pick up any items apart from your boss items. Ooh, they hem me in straight away there. So, it's not as scary as it could be. But then, if it was as scary as it could be where you get no items, <laughs> I think this game would be borderline impossible. Because uh, some of those later uh, enemies are just so hefty. And uh, to fight them all... With your starting damage would just be painful, but fortunately, if you can just survive to your bosses, you should power yourself up. Well, if you're lucky enough anyway as well, but that's always a factor of Isaac. I shouldn't have to point that out, right? Uh, yeah, if you're lucky enough, you should pick up some good boss items. There are some good items in the boss pool, and uh, that should get you through this challenge. But other than that, this is standard Isaac Fair. I don't know how far this one goes... We'll find out after this floor, I'm sure. This one's a bit of a tough room, honestly. The Because uh, you've got these projectile enemies stationed in every corner and in the centre of the room. And then you're going to be rushed down by flies. If you've got a particular character with like a bad starting damage stat, this room's tough. Because okay? this one just keeps you moving and the pressure's always on in this room. But it's not too bad. It is just a simple matter of, you know, you've got to keep moving. And watch out, these guys can randomly fire projectiles, so we do want to keep our distance if we can. Just clear out the guys who are surrounding us. And then we'll work our way out from there. Okay, and I also think our secret room's got a damn good chance of being here on our right. Let's have a look-see. It's our only bomb. Felt a bit, uh, a bit wild, a bit crazy, because we were given two lovely black hearts from our curse room. And that wasn't bad. Quite happy to have a key, even though hmm, it's only going to work for the shop. But, you know, at least the shop's uh, more items, possibly. And get some cash. Although I would like two more coins to get an arcade on the next floor. Because that could possibly get us some, uh, like, a demon beggar. Or, or any kind of beggar, really. So we could get another item from our arcade. But who's our first boss? It's Gemini. So another matter of keeping moving. Just basically want to kite Gemini. Get some shots into little Gemini if you uh, can as well, because he's the toughest part of the battle. Obviously, uh, big Gemini is the one that's most likely to be taken out first just because he gets up in your face. But um, when he's gone, as you've all seen, I'm sure, uh, little Gemini gets a bit nasty. He uh, picks up quite, uh, quite a lot of momentum. He's a lot harder to dodge. He's a lot harder to control because he bounces off your shots and everything as well. Almost got caught there. So if you can uh, make that last part of the fight a little easier on yourself, I absolutely recommend you do. So I'm not entirely sure if my theory on uh, killing both uh, Big and Little Gemini first counts as... Um, or at least who you kill last, I guess. Uh, counts as uh, getting unlo unlocking that um, cellar floor. But we've done it anyway, so you shouldn't have to worry. We've got a health and luck upgrade from our first floor. There's nothing else I can find on there. I mean, I can go into the shop. We've got the keys to spare, but um, I haven't got a bomb to really try and find some more coins to get an arcade for the next floor, which is upsetting. But we'll be all right. We'll survive what we got next. So it looks like we're going to at least the womb. So it's a longer one. That's all right, though. Like I said, we got we just got to really take advantage of where we do get items here. We can't afford to uh, miss them. So any time you get like an opportunity to skip the floor, kind of recommend you don't do that unless you unless you're already in a good place. And uh, what kind of items would you want from your bosses? Well, you know, it's always fingers crossed. But what would they be crossed for? I don't know. There's some really good ones. There's definitely any one that will increase your damage is nice. There's a lot of um, good DPS ones as well. They'll increase your, like, your shot speed and your tears. These are the kinds of things just to keep your character strong. That's what you want. Uh, oh, uh, we might be able to get into our shop for free. Even though, you know, the key situation is far better than the bomb situation. So why would you want to? Oh, first hit is from a gish. 
God, our key situation continues to get amazing. Um, I quite like our shield heart situation right now as well. So I'm going to go ahead and check for our secret room here. Cool. Ooh, it's cash and another shield heart. Awesome. So it's like a damn good uh, tinted rock. Still haven't really got uh, shop money though, which is a damn shame. Because there's some cool things we can get from the shop. I wouldn't mind um, getting ourselves a uh, champion's belt right about now. Because that, of course, is a damage up. And uh, it'll also give us a lot of more champion enemies to fight. Which means more pickups. Which could mean more cash and stuff. Ooh, really wish I still had that bomb. Oh, well, let's go kill Monstro. Just to go take our... Oh, hello, Dingle. All right, then. Well, sometimes he'll surprise you. Whoop. Get out the way. Move, bitch. Yeah, you know the st strategy for taking out a dingle right about now, surely. Just weave through these uh, triple shots, and when he uh, squidges down to do his charge attack, that's not the kind of squidging I'm talking about. Sort of inhales rather than squashes down. That means he's, ch he's going to charge at you. You just basically want to move perpendicular to dingle every time. That's the one. Whee! And you should be able to get out of the way of him. I mean, the, uh, dingle's biggest weakness is his predictability, honestly. So attacks could be quite tricky to avoid if you uh, didn't see him coming. But then he is supposed to be a first chapter boss, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not uh, saying buff Dingle, because he don't need a buff. He's good where he is. I mean, you can buff him if you want, but I suggest moving him uh, deeper into the cell if you're going to do that. Okay, so we got bombs. and uh, uh, well, Okay, we got a bomb, two troll bombs, and a uh, black heart. What's the deal with the devil? Which, of course, we can still get. This is still our best... Um, way of getting hell um sorry getting stronger it's our last way of getting health because we're about to he wants two double deals although the pact is great because that gives us shield hearts as well as a damage and tears up so that's just a really great item and yeah we're gonna take this actually i'm not entirely sure what our health is right now but i still feel that it's good and uh yeah i came back to get into this treasure chest Oh, it really, really wasn't worth it. Could have used the the nail. Yes, you're absolutely right. Should I have done it? Yes, I absolutely should have. <laughs> because I could have used the bomb then to maybe find our second secret room. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have a little hunty round for maybe another treasury rock. Just so I can feel really good about our health. Because at the moment, I don't really know what it is. But I feel good about it. We definitely... Oh, this is... Okay. This is uh, nail time right here. There we go. Wasn't a treasure rock, but it was the contents of a treasure rock. Plus, you know, mo money. Almost uh, talking shop cash here. Um, do I feel like gambling our only bomb on a second secret room? Nah. Nah. Let's just uh, let's leave this chapter. Let's move on. I think we're in a good place. Uh, we have picked up. Uh, the Pact, which is a good damage up, okay, because that is obviously increasing our damage and our tears, so it's a DPS up. And uh, we've got the Nail now to give us a little boost of damage when we need it, and our health is great, and plus the Nail's going to give us more health every time we use it. That could be good for more bombs. I'd probably prefer to do that with a Nail charge, so... I didn't actually take a look at what kind of gauntlet room that is. I, I know that we can enter any at this point. Just because our health's amazing, but not red. There is some bombs, though. That's the whole reason I was willing to do the gauntlet room. Maybe we'll just find enough bombs that it kind of becomes pointless to do it. At the moment, we haven't fallen behind the uh, the barrier yet. We've still got uh, good damage for where we are. It needs to get better if it's going to be consistently like this. Honestly, we want it to be much better than this. But uh, I'm, I'll, I'll be happy with consistent. <laughs> okay, let's head up. Because that was indeed a dead end. I know I don't do much um, sacrifice room play. Whoops. Wow. I don't know why I figured he'd stop when I'm still there. Don't do much sacrifice room play. But sacrifice room play, you've got to be in a very good place to do that. To be honest. And... Uh, I don't feel that we're in a very good place, and we're not in a very bad place either, where we're so desperate for, like, a possible chest. Which is all it is to play the sacrifice room. That's why you need to be in a really good place for it, okay? Because it's only uh, a very slim possibility that you're actually going to get anything from it ever. Let's take out the bang guy first. 
Ooh. Starting to take some hits now. Getting a bit sloppy. Pack that in. Come on, are you going to pop up a war? Ugh. And he's got so much health as well. This could uh, be a long one. Come on, come on. There we go. Boom. Come on then, you. Let's finish you off. This should give us a charge for the nail as well. Do I want to do the gauntlet room? I don't know anymore, honestly. Um, the thing I'd want the most now is actually money. Let's go check for our secret room first. Hmm. Oh, go for it. Wow, we got a coin. Happy days. I guess you uh, being... Well, we weren't forced to use the nail. I just chose to to speed things up. But, uh, you know, coming here and using the nail is also a uh, shield heart. You can sort of put that kind of spin on it. <laughs> but then you are kind of clutching at straws. That, that was crap. That was a really crap payout. The only thing I can really hope for now is that the uh, clearing out these waves gives us something nice as well. Oop. Taking a hit. You can't hear it, but I take the hit. No audio cue with the uh, nail transformation. We got fuck all for that. What a crap gauntlet room that was. <laughs> God, there's a lot of these mega enemies, but at least these aren't the rushdown variety. Way Oh, God, they're hemming me, though, pretty badly. So, yeah, our damage is on par with the difficulty of the game at the moment. Want to be ahead of that. This might be a nice room to get a nail charge in. Not because there's anything special about these rocks, but there's the potential for something underneath those rocks. Simply because there's a lot of them. <laughs> Ooh, there's our... Trap room though. Let's uh, have a look in there. Maybe get the gupster because there's one fine way to get ahead of the uh, the difficulty. Shield hearts are nice though. We're really not going to complain. We might be able to get out of here for free actually. Yeah. Mo keys. The key situation is ridiculous. It's quite the wind up really, considering there's going to be fuck all opportunities to really use keys without any item rooms and stuff. Maybe we'll get our hands on um Guppy's tail. Get a lot of gold chests, and then, you know, with the gold chest, okay, there's another great source for getting your damage up as well. Cracking into the gold chests, getting yourself something like Cricket's head. Fucking incredible. Guppy's head's amazing damage boost as well. That is uh, three flies for every room where there's combat. Let's get uh, getting in here. Can't see the guy at the bottom of the screen there. Um, hmm, yeah, let's go in the shop. The ladder, huh? Not amazing. And I frequently forget I've got it <laughs> when I buy it, but uh, I might buy that. And like I said, we got so many keys now, I'm quite happy to go a little crazy in these situations. Especially when we're getting fucking keys back for it. Uh, ooh, our second secret room could be in a tricky spot. I'm guessing at the right at the bottom of here. Yeah. Oh, it's another shield heart. Our health's amazing. Our health is really amazing. Even if our damage doesn't sort of uh, keep up, at least we can take a couple of knocks to get the damage done. Um, let's see who our boss is. It's Gurdy. Gurdy, Gurdy, Gurdy. Way! Ah, bugger. It's a real shame. I really thought that... Uh, I think I probably would have done this uh, challenge before. Challenge 11 and just... Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Playing badly is what I'm doing. Uh, just get the way. When Goody's head pops into his body, you just need to move <laughs> to another right angle of him so you don't get hit. It's that simple. Although, for some reason, I'm trying to weave around everything. Like I said, I've been ill. <laughs> Leave me alone. Wait. But no, I think I would have uh, probably beat this challenge before Challenge 11 and just gone round the list like I was planning to because we uh, fucked up that one challenge. <laughs> but I'm uh, surprised we haven't unlocked it yet. I thought all you had to do was get... Ooh, well, you just had to get uh, Epic Fetus uh, unlocked, and then you could play that challenge. But apparently I'm missing something. We might actually have to jump into hard difficulty before we can take on that uh, lock challenge. This point is going back to normal difficulty at this point. Speed up, size down is okay. It kind of lowers our hitbox, I think. It should, in theory. Uh, deals with the devil like this, though, are not preferable. Unless they want to give us uh, guppy items. Which they did not. Well, thanks for nothing. Guess we're moving on. I'm going to take a swiggy of my coffee.
Ah, oh, that's the black heart I'm interested in. Right into the curse room. Um, more health, that's okay. And we got a gauntlet room here, the boss variety. And it's just another crappy common chest, huh? I really don't feel the need to take on that one. Oh, no, Envy. Envy, the biggest waste of time in the Binding of Isaac Reaver. Because his payouts are crap, and he's one of the longest bosses to fight, regardless of how good you're doing. I mean, if you're doing bad, then he gets even more painful. But if, you, if you're in a good place, he still doesn't really go down any faster, unless you've got um, sort of tick damage, where you can sort of put out something that just does constant damage. And, you know, you can get all his pieces to just room in there, and you can take him out in one shot in that regard. But if you're still shooting projectiles like this, you've got to take out every little piece he breaks into, and it's still kind of monotonous. And then he usually pays out with a troll bomb or shoot the whoop, which is shit. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't stand Envy. Envy's a pain in the butt. And there's our troll bomb. At least we got this, a flat penny. So now we're going to get even more keys that we can't use. <laughs> Envy sticking the middle finger up to the bitter end. I'll give him credit. He does what he does. He does it well. A key for a key. Yeah. I mean, these keys aren't going anywhere else, so I might as well try and uh, see what we can get. Um, yeah, let's pop into our arcade. Just kind of hoping for a beggar. Really not interested in Skatol. Not interested in a health upgrade either, really. Might blow some stuff up in here. Doesn't need to happen just yet, though. Way. Watch out for Psychic Spider. Yeah, this one's uh, a little bit too purist for my liking. I was kind of hoping that we'd uh, find other ways to get our damage up, but it's not happening yet. Although we're trying. We're going to continue to try. Although if our health stays this amazing, I don't see us failing it either. After this floor, we'll really want to damage up, okay? Because that's when the enemy are going to sort of uh, up their game again, and we haven't upped our damage since the, uh, what was it? It was the first floor, wasn't it, when we got the pact? Ugh, and the, and the nail. Hmm, not a bad nail room, actually. Let's do it. It's not a bad devil room, honestly, but I think I'll save that for the boss. These enemies aren't difficult, they're just annoying. <laughs> A little bit on the healthy side for my liking. Well, well, with this damage anyway. And uh, they're quite hard to hit. But they do move around quite erratically. And then Dale is slowing us down ever so slightly. But mainly, I like the idea of crushing these rocks and maybe finding a uh, crawl space. Or, God forbid, a black market. Because now that would be a really great source for damage of us. You can get multiple deal the devil items in a situation like that. There's another shop. Can't afford anything from it, but... I'm going to go in. Maybe we'll get a half-price item. It's the boomerang. It's half-price. <laughs> uh, but it's only the boomerang, unfortunately. Is that better than the nail? No, it, it's not. It's really not better than the nail. So, that's the shop being disappointed again. Still with these pieces of fistula. Worst part is the spiders, honestly. Way hey, okay, and then I get hit by uh, him. Oh, shit. Actually, no, Fistula's the maggot one. Uh, this is actually his, like, uh, rebirth version. I think they call him Teratoma. I can't remember what floor you actually fight Teratoma on. As a general boss. I forget now. Way hey. I think it might be the Depths. I don't want to say the womb, because uh, then you got uh, Blastasis. And I don't think they've got multiple uh, of those type of enemies that split apart for you. Or bosses, shall I say. Seems a bit redundant. Mind you, Blastasis seems a bit of a crazy boss to have on the womb. He's pretty easy. <laughs> He's pretty fucking easy. He's a very easy boss to be uh, for a womb level, I think. If you see him turn up as your womb boss, or utero boss, uh, you've, been, uh, you've been done a nice deal there. Hmm, might as well go kill our the husk, who's a Reaper version of Lord of the Flies, or Duke of Flies, rather. It's us who becomes the Lord of the Flies. That wouldn't be a bad pickup either, honestly. 
just for the ability to fly mainly. But now that I know that um, all the enemy small flies actually become our allies, that's pretty cool. And that's not damage. That is just speed. What's the plan here? What am I doing? Looking for a secret room, I think. But I was thinking, oh, shall I try and use up this charge of the nail and take the battery just to make the most of our resources? And I'm I'm saying that while I'm doing it, so I guess we're committed. But then, of course, we just got given that. So there's actually no way for me to complete this charge, which kind of makes the whole thing redundant. Never mind, moving on. <laughs> okay. So we're going to the depths. We haven't had a damage upgrade since, like, the first chapter. Could be better. Health's still amazing, though. That's the last time I'll linger on that screen for you. I just had to finish off Miko Fei. Speed's amazing, mind you. So we have got um, great health and good speed. So I do feel confident about staying alive. Although my dodging has been fucking shocking, in all fairness. But still. The potential's there. We got the stats to uh, evade damage. Or survive damage as well. Survival's there. We just want to be able to fight back at this point. And we're just scraping by with this uh, these kind of stats at the moment. Take out that teleporting guy. They're a pain. The guppy dream. Uh, maybe we can get in there for free, actually. No. Disappoint. Oh, it's Goathead. Okay, Goathead is great potential, okay? It's going to cost us a lot of health. Because we've got no red health. So all our deals of the devil will require three hearts. Which is hefty, but at least now we can guarantee deals of the devil before it's too late. We've been getting uh, Goathead a lot recently as a, far too late in the game for it to be useful. Way. I wish this was Ultra Pride. Ultra Pride's got a really good chance of playing out with um, the dead cat item for nine lives. Ooh, we can double our cash now. Hopefully we can get a good shop. It's still very much like that champion belt. Um, what else would I like from the shop? Well, there's a lot of cool stuff in the shop, but we haven't unlocked it yet because we haven't donated to the shop in fucking forever. <laughs> but there is some there, there's there is game breaking shop items later on if you can get that donation machine. But we're not there yet. What we can get right now is the best thing's probably still uh, the champion belt. Yeah, I'll do this. Gold chest could mean Guppy's head. Guppy's head means closer to Guppy. Also, fly damage, which is awesome. Always. <laughs> Could have also meant Cricket's head, which is one of the best damage ups in the game. <laughs> so yeah, golden chest we're cracking into. If we see a golden chest, we want a golden chest. Also, stuff like Infamy is always great, okay? The chance to like completely uh, nullify damage. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it any day. We've got goat head now, so they're not getting that out of the gold chest anymore. At least, fortunately, with these uh, these rush down squidgy guys, once you've squidged them once, they uh, they do re squidge quite quickly. Hmm. Secret rooms being a secret. <laughs> yeah, well. Pretty sure these guys don't eat bombs. So I'm not going to waste them. We are slowly but surely starting to run out of our, our nice little pool that we had earlier. I can uh, give us a crap ton of money in a moment's notice, though. Wait. Ugh. Now I've actually got the sun glowing on the screen. It's typical. It is typical. The reason I, I got full up with a cold is because I dared venture out in shorts. When, you know, the British summer wasn't really summer. <laughs> it was just bright, not warm. So I got ill. Uh, and now it's actually lovely outside today. And here I am. <laughs> Sick. Uh, that's got potential to have something nice hidden under there. But it's only potential. There's no guarantees there. There's not a, a, an actual treasure rock or anything. See our speed. Got us through that nasty situation here. Looks like we're going to have to deal with it again, though, because I'm so fucking weak, really. Ah, no. Yeah, we got the speed, but we just don't have the damage to really uh, get through these uh, situations comfortably. 
And I really need to kind of keep our health up if I'm really going to take advantage of this uh, deal with the devil situation. You know, since our last deal with the devil actually was just a bunch of red chests, we could be getting a deal with the angel, which is free. And uh, switching up to the deal with the angel game might be smart. Oh, there's our shop. Hopefully there's going to be something incredible in here. I spotted you this time, Toxic Blood. Oh, that is really fucking sweet. So yeah, we'll diamonds our money. We'll take this. There's options. So now we've got a choice of two items from every boss. This is really, this is where we can start to really get some power behind us and we need it now. I'll take a bomb too. Could be our secret room down there. Yeah, finally found it. Pills. I don't think we've been chomping on any of these yet. Balls of steel, great. That's two of them, is there? No. Oh, wow. Well, we got balls of steel. And a DPS down. Money. Yeah, we might as well. It's better than the fucking keys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nom, nom, noms. God, I could have diamonds now and had full money. There's our boss. Good. So the amnesia didn't hurt us. Let's go take him out. The Fallen! Awesome! Okay, this is great for us as well. This is a duck guaranteed deal with the devil item. On top of our already guaranteed deal with the devil item. This is this is it. And we should have a choice of two. Oh, this could be the turnaround for the run. Just when our damage was starting to fall behind, we might be able to pick it right back up. Wait, wait. Fallen is, of course, a trickier boss when he splits in two because uh, he goes all out of fucking sync. Oh, I just dodged back into it. Unbelievable. There's always one shooting at you and one charging you. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come on, one of you needs to go now. Cool. Well, do we take Brother Boppy or the gu uh, the fucking Guppy items? I think we'll take Guppy. Because this also gives us a red health now that we can use in our deal with the devil that we got. Okay, he's Krampus. Never mind. So he's basically like fighting the Fallen again. He's got very much the same attacks. Except he doesn't rush you down before he fires four ways. He's an easier Fallen, honestly. Not that I'm complaining. Because <laughs> you can, like, fucking encounter uh, Krampus on the first floor if you're unlucky enough. Or lucky, I suppose, because beating Krampus does mean you've got a potentially great item. Uh, this is good. I would have taken anything that Krampus dropped then, to be honest, but that is good. That could be a, a potential, like, six up damage for us. If we, uh... Keep our distance from the enemy now. Hmm. I almost just went, oh, just check for our secret room here. With one bomb, I'm not feeling that adventurous. Lots lots of big rooms around us to start, though. Not a fan of. Can get into our uh, boss gauntlet room, though, after we clear this room. Wait. Fucking Q-bones, watch your ass. Ooh, he's a tough enemy, actually. Yes, the keys continue to be ridiculous. Yes, we will continue to try and take on gold chests. But I'm going to get a nail charge first. Ooh, three teleporting enemies. Okay, okay, okay. Whoop, whoop, fuck. Yeah, put enough fucking gloop down for us. It's hard enough to get around here as it is with you big fat bastards. Okay. Hmm... How still okay, I don't know why I'm getting all up my own ass about it. Plus we have got nine lives. We shall survive. I just don't want to take a beating to be honest. Right, okay, we've also got a trap room here. This is uh, more guppy potential. If we can find a guppy item in here and then get guppy's head in that golden chest, we are set for damage. Uh, can we get in there for free? I don't think so, yeah. Uh, we saved our bomb. Oof. Well, it was uh, it was a free ride, I guess. Spent exactly what it cost to get in. No, we got back exactly what it cost to get in to make more sense of that sentence. Okay, come on. Look at this. Everything's taking just a little too long to die. But then I am staying too close to the enemy and not really taking advantage of our lump of coal bonus. Best not forget about it now we've only just picked it up. 
cool. Now we got the charge for the gauntlet room. Starter deck, I will take. Even though we've got uh, balls of steel in our pill rotation, I'm just not fucking seeing pills. What starter deck's gonna do is let us carry two cards or rooms. Uh, but it also gives us. Uh, and I'll take a bomb, yes, thank you. But it also replaces all the pills now with cards. We'll never see pills again. Which may or may not have been the right choice. But like I said, we haven't seen pills, so I can't say I'm attached to them. Ooh, we got a card, and we can pick it up. It's money. <laughs> it's lots of money. And considering we're now we're on the, the Depths 2, or Necropolis 2, one of the two, <laughs> we're definitely not going to need the money now, unfortunately. Unless, of course, we get uh, money equals power, in which that would be fucking incredible, honestly. Let's just try and use Lump of Coal until then. Whoop. Try and stay as far away from Monstro 2 as possible. This also makes baiting that attack and taking full advantage of the bait a little trickier, but gotta give it a go. Otherwise, our damage is pretty fucking poor. Ooh. Fortunately, we can't curve our shops without some sort of homing ability, which, uh, you know, Spoon Bender would be cool. Also, we can get our hands on plenty of magician cards now if we like. Tell you what, if we find. Um, blank card and then we pick up a magician card then we basically got like a shit version of um telepathy for dummies which would help for this boss <laughs> i don't think that'll be uh, too helpful in most situations but then that's being a bit ignorant i suppose with lump of coal we can just stay miles away from enemies in like large rooms and really just let our tears find the enemy for us that'll be kind of cool i normally like to get quite close to the enemy uh Mainly because I play too much with, like, the cube of meat and stuff. And love that kind of game. But also because it just means our shots land faster. So our DPS kind of goes up uh, in a way. Oh, I am get I'm moving far too slowly out of the way for that uh, brimstone attack. But I'm baiting. And then not moving out of the way <laughs> quickly. <laughs> well, hey. Right, we got him. Wow. Oh, don't forget the key. <laughs> Hmm. Humna, humna, humna. Well, we got loads of cash. I might as well just. I'm sure there was a shield heart, wasn't there, in the shop? Yeah. I'll take this as well. Got a Hagalaz rune, which I'm holding on to for our large rooms here. There's a good potential for a lot of skulls in there, which could be more cards for us. Um, This isn't such a room. I mean, there are skulls, there's not a lot. Would I use Hagalaz here? He... I suppose I could. But I might check that long room first, just in case that's a, a better use of it. Our damage is not great, <laughs> in all fairness. I'm using Lump of Coal, it's still not amazing. Okay, this is a better Hagalaz. Let's Hagalaz right away. Well, we got an enemy. Super. Probably should have uh, waited until after. <laughs> so then we could have just walked out and uh, got rid of all those new spawned enemies. But it's okay. It should be alright. Fighting from this side of the room. Two of them. Super. We got a black heart from that. Come on. Come on now. Oh, I used Tackle. I was thinking that maybe there's a good chance for like a crawl space or something underneath all those rocks. Probably should have just stuck with all those skulls. Although I can go in there and use the fucking nail and take out all those uh, skulls. So, uh, maybe more bombs as well here. Maybe a bomb item. Be happy with either, honestly. And this creepy fuck off bomber man. Come on. Just clearing the arena for me. I'm okay with that. Let's me get my lump of coal working better. Cool. Mega Mar. Or Mr. Mega. Me Mega Mar's actually an enemy, isn't he? Uh, okay. There's cards. Okay. Well, you can teleport to our shop, which would have been good had we not already been to um, our trap room. And we can just blow up Temperance, I guess. I tell you what, if we can uh, get um, the Horror Babylon, 
after this boss. Temperance would be good to keep for that, because then we can use that to go down to half health, and then we can obviously get the uh, damage and speed up then. Come on. See, this would be a good room to have um, the BLs above transformation. Not only is there creep enemies and holes in the ground, but also enemies that spit flies. So we would just be a god here if we were BLs above. Although we haven't picked up any fly items, unfortunately. Well, we haven't been to our shop yet. Right, we can get in there for free. I think I'd rather just hold onto the hermit as a teleport card right now. Oh, it's not actually a shop. It's a bookshop. Hmm. I think we'll play the Book of Sin. Yeah. And keep the nail. Hmm. Which way do go? I'm going to go um, right, just because I think that might be our secret room up there. Oh, and there's our arcade too. Come on. Quite hard to get Lump of Coal on those enemies. I mean, even if Lump of Coal hits enemy, an enemy directly in front of you, you're still getting a bonus. It's just nothing to write home about. Oh, the keys. I mean, I am holding flat penny, so that's obviously going to continue to be ridiculous, but... <laughs> They've always been ridiculous, is my point. Um, I'm feeling good about our bombs enough to start looking for um, Mega Mush. Mega Mush is... Oh, no, Magic Mush, sorry. That's another great damage up for us. That's basically the same as um, Cricket's Head. Not as good. Or oh, arguably better, because it's an all stats up. Whereas um, Cricket's Head is like purely for your, uh, your damage. Ooh, now we got the beggars. Now we have some beggars. How do I want to go about this? I'm going to put a temperance here. Going for a free for one deal here. Oh, I fucked that up. Oh, I think I got hit twice there. Oh, I was hoping for two health ups, honestly, but instead we got two IV bags instead. <laughs> I try. We got another judgment. Let's pop him down. All right, we, at least we can play these judgments for... Uh, they, these guys have got a great potential uh, for um, just dropping hearts for us. We might as well play them. Stuff. That should be health. At least one heart. There's another. Ooh, a key. Super. This is the reason you want to try and get the arcade go uh, game going. There's health. Awesome. Because if you can... Because uh, you've got to remember, these things spawn every even floor. And if you've got at least five coins, they're guaranteed to be there. And then you can get stuff like the beggars. And the beggars can really up your game, especially when there's no other fucking way to get damage ups. Uh, the world card we'll take for the next floor. High Priestess is no good to us, unfortunately. I mean, it's good on the next floor. I guess we can take High Priestess and World. Because, mm, the Hermit, I, I like the idea of a teleport card, but we don't really need one. Let's uh, go nuts on this guy then and get him to pay out. If we can get some Lover's cards to drop out of him, that'll be sweet. Ooh, we got another teleport. Oh, now you're teasing. You know what? Screw it. The High Priestess is uh, is done. As far as, as soon as you get uh, to Mum's Foot, I stop caring about High Priestess. Even though it's still good for uh, bosses after her. Uh, two of clubs. Double our bombs, huh? I guess I'll use it now. So I can still carry the world. I can absolutely play this guy to get our health up. I just thought I'd stick at it and get this guy. We got speed and range. Speed is good for obviously more evasive. Range is good for our lump of coal. Uh, I think that's the most we're going to get out of here. I mean, I can play this guy and try and get our health back up, but I, I'm, I can't be asked. Uh, we will we'll take this trinket instead, though. Because we don't need keys. We never needed keys. Uh, we definitely don't need any more. Oh, fuck. I just walked right into that. Wasn't the type of spider I expected it to be, even though it clearly is. When they got uh, blood dripping out their throat there. That's a brimstone variety. I still don't know the uh, the turd situation, whether they just need a required amount of hits or they've got their own health HP. Either way, they uh, 
They seem to pers persistently be a nuisance, which makes me think that they've just taken a number of hits. <laughs> they don't seem to go down faster when you're incredibly powerful. Of course, um, I don't know if I ever really run any tests on that. It's just I'm just working from memory here. Guys, you'll have to uh, do that for me while you're watching me play. Ooh, it's a devil card, which is good. Um, more than a teleport? You know what? What we'll do is uh, we'll take the teleport in, we'll teleport out with it, and then we'll pick up the devil card for the next floor. That's the plan. Okay, mum, let's do this. It's good to have the nail for this fight, because now I can clear the arena. There's, oh, fuck. So focused on getting Lump of Coal there, I wasn't really uh, focusing on the attacks that come out of the doors. Ooh, shit. Right, okay. Focus now. <laughs> I'm focusing on one thing, and that is Lump of Coal. So dedicated to the damage. But I'm just letting myself get beat up. Not a good thing. You definitely want to be doing more damage than you take, and I wasn't at the start of that fight. Still not, really. Let's uh, try and up this. <laughs> but hey... Come on, come on, come on, come on. I suppose we should have maybe gone faster. Because then we could have had boss rush. And boss rush would have been a free item because I could have just fucking teleported out of it then with the moon. Yeah, should have gone faster. Boss rush is another great potential. For it's, it's, it's the only item you're going to fucking get on this challenge. Boss rush. And it's a choice of four items too. Come on, then. Yeah. I knew it was coming. Ooh, she is hemming me. It's quite hard to get a lump of coal bonus going when she's following me around so much. I mean, that's kind of what mum does, but I'm talking about the doors as well. I feel really trapped by everything right about now. Ooh, come on. Just need to get some hits on her now. We should do it. Yeah. Okay, yes, we'll take permanent Polaroid invincibility. And... It's a guppy item. Nice. Just one more away from ultimate power. Okay, we'll moon out. Get our devil card. And be happy for the next floor that we'll have the world for so we can sort of just blow through it. Definitely want to... I recommend highly for everybody else so that you really go for that boss rush, actually. Uh, okay, so let's just world. What's in here? It's a gold chest. We're going for it. Guppy's head would be the ultimate finisher. And I'll devil in here, honestly. Screw it. Ooh, we got the ability to fly for one room. That could be very useful. If I can, um, shame we haven't got a temperance now, because, uh, if I was on half a red heart, I'd have invul invulnerability every time I'm here. But I got greedy, trying to get more health upgrades for that, uh, demon beggar. Who wasn't the worst payout, wasn't the best either. The range is, was, uh, the best thing for us. But in this room, I'm pretty sure we already had the range to get the six up. But it does help in the larger rooms, at least. Maybe we'll have uh, Mr. Fred as a boss for this room. Oh, I didn't even see that nut there. <laughs> cool. Oh, shit, there's three bosses. What am I doing? We're on the womb now. Ooh, double mini monstros. I know some of you are probably thinking, uh, there's clearly four mini monstros there, but mini monstro always comes in twos. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Messed with my weave. Oh, you're still alive. Well, you were for a brief second. Cool. We made it. Uh, just straight up then is where we want to go. There's little blast assists. Ow. Health's getting low. Still got 10 lives though. Well, potentially more than 10 lives, but also potentially less. <laughs> Can't really rely on Guppy's collar, although I do like to. <laughs> Especially uh, with a particular character that we shall not mention. Um, 
I can, mm, would it be here where I want to place the bomb? No. Lower or higher? Yeah. Oh, it's greed. Good, good. Wanted some money. Only got 93 cents. What, are, what am I going to do with it? It'd be nice if you dropped money equals power, honestly, Greed. That'd be cool to, if they put that in your item pool. Be very happy about that, honestly. It's not going to happen, though. <laughs> At least there's a uh, shield heart in this room. Shield heart. Ooh. That would have been a nasty laser. Come on. This is a great room for our lump of coal play, though. And uh, we've got a little extended hitbox sometimes, I guess, with this uh, wobbly worm or whatever the fuck it's called. Pulse worm, I think it's called, actually. Oh, there's another one in here. I would actually uh, think it'd be nice if we could um, get a shot speed up. Waste hangman on a regular chest. Mm, no, I'm not really feeling the magic. I don't think so. I'd uh, I'd like to see a large, a bigger payout. If I can find us like a spare hangman, I'd absolutely go back for it. But what's the most I might uh help hoping for out of that? It's gonna be cash, isn't it? Or it's gonna be keys, maybe bombs. Best case scenario is health. We would get out of that thing, but the fact that I can't guarantee it really doesn't make that very enticing. Oh, this won't be our secret room. Uh, leave all this. We got a champion right there. That's a toughie. Fuck. <laughs> well, at least we got a shield heart for the boss. Let's do this. Conquest. Ooh. I might take the pony over the nail. It's the ability to fly. So I wouldn't have to have this hangman debate then. <laughs> okay. Also, there's like an attack thing, which is sometimes good. Oh, yeah, I can clear this arena, give myself some more space. Let's not forget about that. See, our damage is literally scraping by through ever since the first chapter, really. So, what this run seems to want to give me is the ability to uh, evade. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take the pony. Oh, we got... I have completely forgot about those options. <laughs> so only one of these items is, the, in fact, the pony. And I don't know which one it is. I want to say that this one would be the pony. But this could be something better. Damn you! Curse of the blind! Ah, oh, shit. Do I t go for uh, the pony or the mystery item? Oh, I should have gone for the pony. Okay. Oh, thanks for that. Teleport me back in here. Mm -hmm. mm. Razor blade. It's not good enough. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work. Ah, damn it! Two bad choices. Oh, that's uh, that stings. That is definitely sting. I'm actually desperate for health now. Two of clubs. It's bombs. <laughs> Damn. Who? I. Mm, there is a chance that we could find a health up here and take the other deal of the devil item. Keep an eye open for uh, polyps like this. And watch out for the projectiles that they blow into sometimes. I should have used the two clubs before I started looking. Doi. Ooh, this will be a way to recruit my losses. Also, I'm thinking the second secret room might be up here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use the two clubs now. It's an item. It's a gold chest item. Please be the cupster. 
It's Cricket's Hate! Oh, I'm still very fucking happy. Okay, awesome. Definitely worth coming back and having a look around. This could be a huge turnaround for our damage now. I'd still like to push and try and get that, um... No, I'm not going for... I almost did! Just instinctively go, oh, let's get that key! Uh... Uh... Super secret room. No. Here? Here? Oh, might as well now, I guess. Cool. It's a red chest. The cuppy dream. <gasps> You've done it. All right. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Forgive my crackly laugh. I am recovering. <laughs> Any other coughs that I've been letting off, I'll try and edit out for you. All right. Screw health. We are powerful now. Very happy about this final floor. Potentially final floor anyway. Maybe we'll go on. There's really no way to know. Uh, should we give our uh, newfound power a little test run? Yeah. Card against humanity. That could be a great potential for us to get our health back, honestly. Oh, the damage, though. What a turnaround. At the last moment. It's the guppy dream, people. This is what we fight for. <laughs> Sweet. Look at this, just feeding the flies of death. We can basically keep our distance, plow them with our sweet lump of coal damage, and then as they fight to get closer and closer, they just get eaten by flies. I love it. No, the spiders aren't worth wasting our flies on. Let's try and find a big room to use the card against humanity. Sorry, Dingle, it's just not your day. Could go in there. Don't need to now. <laughs> I'm just thinking maybe going there because those things have been so good for shield hearts this whole run. Okay. Are we going to see any big rooms? I was kind of hoping this would be our secret room, but it's definitely not gonna. Oh, dead end. Dead end for them, maybe. Oh, come on. Give us a big room so I can uh, go nuts with the card against humanity. Ooh, keep moving. Oh, the damage is just a massive turnaround now. I'm loving it. Might as well take the key. Because I can. Oh, there's health. Sweet. I think you all know what uh, what's happened here. It's come up Millhouse. That's what's happened. Just uh, I'm going to just make my random pop shots and uh, let the flies... Devour Envy. Of course, Blackout will uh, help to speed things along. That's obviously part of my plan. Didn't get hit by accident there. <laughs> uh, it's a Joker, which we don't need unless this challenge goes a little bit further. We're not going to make that mistake again. I mean, what we could use it for now is to get the deal of the devil before it's useless. But... It could also uh, go beyond. We could go to the cathedral again here, and uh, then we can get a free deal of the devil item. And that's what I'm going to play, because right now, we got good damage. Could get better, even. It didn't. It, well, it's a better trinket, I suppose. It's uh, it's help. It's better chance for more health, even though we don't really need it now. Woohoo. Let's not forget that we did pick up Cricket's head as well. This is... It all just snowballed at the end. I absolutely love it. This is the this is why you don't give up on an Isaac run. Even if it seems tough, stick at it. Because it literally... You can go round the corner in Isaac and then just find all the power in the fucking universe. <laughs> just for you to pick up. Plow through. Keep it going. Keep going. Uh, the stars. It's a teleport card. We didn't use Card Against Humanity. We didn't find any big rooms. Let's just try and find a full room, I guess. I'll blow up this. And use it in here. Okay, let's see what we can see if we can get any health. There's her petrified poo. Goody gumdrops. Come on, shieldy, shieldy health. 
I'd rather not have my cockiness get me killed here and then have to fight Mum's heart with one hit for like nine plus attempts. There's one shield heart. Lots and lots of money. Oh, we don't have full room range. I'm surprised. I thought we did. Regular room anyway. For like one square away from full room range. Which is a six up for a lump of coal. Don't know what we've got now then. I don't know uh, what the uh, the segments are. Are you just going to give us the one shield, huh? Emerge that then. I was going to say shield heart, huh? <laughs> but I just fucking stuck that together. Come on. Don't need the money. There we go. At least we've got a second line of health now. Well, it's not a line, but we're on it, the second line. Okay. Let's do this! And let's see if I don't get screwed by the Joker card again. <laughs> Flies, eat her! Oh, we didn't skip this section yet? Oh, well, it wasn't hard. Due to our sweet lump of coal plate. Eat her alive, my beauties. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, it does end here! We got screwed again! Oh! Never tried to second guess, Isaac. <laughs> oh, we can go further. I mean, we can win. Or we can risk everything for no reason. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and risk everything for no reason. Uh, <laughs> just so I can use the Joker card. Fuck you, Isaac. I'm having everything. Don't need... Uh, the ability to fly. Although I do like Spectral Tears. I'm going to go with uh, that. Hang on, have I got more red health? No, I haven't. I didn't think so. Right, okay. We don't need any more guppy. Although there was potentially shield hearts in there. Yeah, so screw you. <laughs> I got to use my Joker card anyway. <laughs> we'll find out shortly whether it was worth it. Oh, the Babylon's pretty sweet. It's another damage up, of course, and it's another speed up. Which uh, speed has really got us uh, this far. Like I said, short speed would be a nice boost right about now. Just so we can really get Lump of Coal working. Ooh, there's an extra hit. That's a lot of money. What I love is the flies. Um, oh, okay, I'll take that back. I was about to say the flies seem to do damage no matter where they hit these guys. But then I just saw that guy just chomp up like five flies. <laughs> so that's not true at all. Uh, hey. Uh, yeah, we'll take this. It'll be better for us now. So every time we get hit and we're down to our last hit, we got uh, three black hearts to maybe save our ass. I'd say save our bacon, but there's no bacon inside this guy. <laughs> Oh, that's, this is a long room. If anything, it would be here. Hmm. With our large bombs, I think I would have found it. Although, I'll check again. Okay. So, we found Satan. We did this, guys. PayPal! Boom! No leeches for you, sir. Come on. Oh, I was kind of hoping we kill... Oh, the lumber coal got the guy further away. I thought I'd kill that guy before he shot, though. Oh, 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 oh he got me. Permanent, permanent pro life point. Little, 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 little invulnerability is what you need to know happened there. <laughs> okay, let's finish this. This will be the hardest uh, part of the boss fight to get Lump of Coal working on, but... Hey! I think we got enough power behind uh, our regular damage start to not worry about that. Thanks to uh, Cricket's head and the flies here. Yeah. Ultimate champion. What did we get? The Rune of Bacano. It's, 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 it's alright. <laughs> Come and check out that. what that is, sorry. 
in the next video. Uh, like and comment if you enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you haven't already to catch the ones in the future. I've been Bunky. It's been beautiful. Let's do it again sometime.